Hi everyone, welcome to the ISP Solutions. My name is Abdullah Khan and today we are going to discuss about intercompany transactions under the FCCS application. So we'll see uh, an example and then we'll uh, go to the application. So say we are having a holding company and a cor corresponding subsidiary. So a holding company has given a loan loan given of say amount ten thousand dollars and the subsidiary has received that loan from the holding of an amount ten thousand usd so this ten thousand becomes an asset for the holding and uh, the same ten thousand becomes a liability for the subsidiary company however if we take a look at it on a consolidated level basis or a group basis consolidated statement the pay the loan that is given and by the holding to the subsidiary would be eliminated and it would be reduced to nil in the consolidated statement of financials so similarly the interest income that the parent will receive say if the interest rate is 10000 into 10% say the interest rate is 10% so 1000 usd of the interest income that is received by the holding and the interest expense that is paid by the subsidiary would get eliminated in the consolidated statement of PNL. So, how we can see this result in our application is our target. So, we'll go to the application. And uh, we'll go to the dimensions and see if we have uh, the accounts under uh, the account dimension by the name of intercompany, uh, say loan accounts or receivable or payable accounts. So for this purpose, I have created two accounts. So I'm just going to show you the properties of uh, those two accounts. One is an intercompany long-term loan asset account that is under the uh, hierarchy of other long-term assets account. And uh, this is not a preceded account. This is the one that, that we've created. So its properties include that it is an asset account wherein supporting is non-expense time balances flow uh, and most importantly uh, the thing is that and under the attribute values we'll uh, in case it is an intercompany account so we'll have to provide its attribute as intercompany account yes select this and click on add since i've already added this uh, attribute here so i no, uh, i no longer need to uh, add it again Another thing that we need to uh, keep in mind is that we have to provide a plug account for both the long-term loan asset and long-term loan liability accounts. So what is a plug account? We'll see its practical application as well. So it is a, an account basically uh, where we get the differences between the two intercompany accounts in case if there are any differences, uh, say uh, if the asset is showing a balance of 10,000 in the holdings books, uh, but the liability under the subsidiaries books are showing as 8,000. So that difference of 2,000 would be shown under the plug account. So that balances out the account. So the differences may arise due to various reasons. They may be reconciliation reasons or some other reasons as well. So but we have to provide a plug account for all the intercompany accounts. So here I have, uh, there's an intercompany plug account, which is already created. So I have provided it, selected it and uh, provided the attribute here. So these are all the properties that I have given for the long-term loan asset account. Similarly, there is a long-term loan liability account, which I have created. Okay. So let me just click on, okay. 
now we'll check so here's the long term loan liability account it has the same properties just the asset type and some other uh, differences are there but the attribute values are very really important we'll have to provide this account as an intercompany account and the plug account as well so now we'll try to put some transaction through smart view in our application so here i have selected all the dimensions uh, we can ignore it this is uh, so we have selected two entities c501 and c502 so what i want is that c501 is my holding and 502 is my subsidiary so 501 that is the holding has given a loan of 10000 usd to the subsidiary and all the POVs, uh, all the transactions would be uh, input under the data input and entity input for consolidation. Huh. Very important thing, the intercompany have to be selected the inter under the intercompany dimension. We have to select the entity to through which we are doing this transaction. So since 501 is providing a loan to 502, so under the intercompany dimension, we'll have to select the member C502 ICP, which we can see uh, in our application as well. We can get it from here. We'll go to intercompany. Uh, intercompany entities. So at the time of creating the entity, what we do is that under the properties, we provide uh, these company as intercompany. Uh, we take these companies uh, for the intercompany transactions. So the entity gets created here uh, under the intercompany uh, account uh, dimension so for this alias that we have taken there comes from here c501 icp c502 icp so all these entities have been uh, enabled for the intercompany transactions so we have taken 502 icp here and correspondingly when we'll show the liability under 502 so we'll uh, give the c501 icp here so that it means that this liability is uh, has, is, is due to the uh, transaction with 501 so now we'll just move ahead and create the asset of 10000 here so which means that 501 is having an asset related to 502 so we'll click on submit Okay, first I'll have to refresh it. It is a free form mode. So now I'll again put 10,000, click on submit. My data is submitted. So now there's an asset of 10,000 and 501 related to 502. Similarly, I'll provide a liability of similar amount under 502, which is due to the transaction with 501 so i have given intercompany as 501 here and now we are going to check the result at the c level that is the consolidated financial statements level uh, because of which i have given the consolidation uh, dimension as entity total uh, intercompany as intercompany top all the top level hierarchy we have given here total data source the end uh, c500 is the C level hierarchy and period and year. So now we'll just go to our application, go to data form for consolidation and see what result do we get with this transaction. We'll basically get nil because both the transactions will get eliminated. And then we'll also see uh, under the eliminations uh, member, or both of the eliminations, how they are getting eliminated. So we'll go to business rules and consolidate the C500 entity. Just click on launch. The so rule was run successfully. We'll come back to the application. We'll click on refresh.
and see we get the result as zero only because both of these transactions get eliminated since these are intercompany transaction accounts. So now uh, how they are getting eliminated that we can see uh, under the intercompany eliminations dimension under consolidation. So we'll just create copy paste and create another column and change some of the POVs that is entity total intercompany eliminations intercompany top is okay total resources okay rest is fine i'll just uh, click on refresh mm, okay sorry i have to oh, my bad uh, i'll have to provide this uh, under the total data source sorry that con uh, the data input option the intercompany elimination accounts. Hmm. Now I've got the results. So when we change the data source to intercompany eliminations, we got the result at C level that is both the intercompany long term loan liability and uh, loan asset of 10,000 respectively have been eliminated. And therefore, the result at the top hierarchy that is the total data source is zero and zero. So, in that way, we see that both the intercompany transactions have gotten eliminated. Have eliminated each other and thus the result at the C level is zero. That is the consolidated financial statements level. Uh, another thing that we talked about is the plug account. So for plug, what uh, needs to happen is that there has to be a difference of uh, some amount between these two transactions, namely the uh, liability and the asset transaction. So for the sake of understanding uh, the plug account, uh, I'll try to uh, I'll, I'll make some changes uh, to the data that we have already input. So let us make the loan asset as 10,000, let it remain as 10,000, but make the liability as 7,000 USD and click on submit. And now we'll select the plug accounts and see if we are uh, able to see the difference of 3000 in our plug account. So we'll go to the dimensions and uh, look for our plug account. That is what is our plug account and try to input the, uh, try to see the amount under that plug account. So again, I'll, uh, just go to my long-term loan asset or liability account, either one of them. Go to his properties, attributes. Uh, this is our plug account. So we'll just copy this account, go to smart view, and refresh it again. Huh. And we'll have to run consolidation again to see our result. So we'll go to the data form and run the business rule again. Okay, one more thing we have left earlier is that the consolidated data is seen at the parent currency level. So that has to be changed as well. See, now we can see that at the consolidated level, still the intercompany lo uh, loan liability as well as the asset account is nil. That is, it is not showing any effect uh, in our 
financial statements but there is a separate plug account which is showing us the difference between these two that is 3000 difference uh although it would not affect our financials but there is a separate account where we can see all the differences in case there are any between each and every intercompany transaction within the group so this is of uh, utmost importance in case there are any differences we won't be able to see it at the consolidated level but if uh, there is a plug account and it there has to be a plug account when there when there is an intercompany transaction because uh, always the difference uh, always the amount uh, under the accounts at the consolidated level would be zero but the difference if any would each time go to the plug account only similarly uh, under the eliminations also you can see the difference the, here it is eliminating uh, 7000 here it is eliminating 10000 still it is giving the amount as zero only but the remaining amount it is taking to the plug account also, since there is a loan, a set, and a liability, there would be interest, income, and expenses in similar fashion as we have uh, created these accounts. Uh, a couple of accounts can create it for the intercompany income, uh, interest income, and interest expenses, and uh, the transactions can be shown or validated from here. So that's it for today. In case of any queries, you can visit our website. Thanks, and have a great day ahead.